Ah, uh, the time is finally here. It's time to take the all-new Toyota Tundra capstone, the most luxurious Tundra, on a towing drive. But also, I can now tell you exactly how much the new Tundra Hybrid costs, all the options it's available with, and also its fuel economy. So let's get on the road with this Airstream trailer and get going. All right, so let's get towing. Um, and I am in tow haul mode, as you can see right here. There is also tow plus for heavier trailers, but right now, since I'm towing about 5,000 pounds, give and take, maybe a little bit less, according to the sticker on the trailer, um, I'm using regular tow haul mode. And Toyota engineers told me that when I am in regular tow haul, or actually in any tow haul mode, that the engine will always be on because the truck is anticipating um, heavier loads, accelerations, etc. So, um, and that's understandable. And actually, that's very similar to how Ford does it with their F 150 hybrid as well. This is going to be a good test because there is some traffic, so I need to merge. This is the perfect test of the power. And of course, I have a lot of it, 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque. That was basically flat out acceleration and already I'm at speed limit. So yeah, there's a lot of torque here. And the way Toyota designed this powertrain is, of course, you have the twin turbocharged V6, um, like a regular new Tundra. But then there is an electric motor generator and of course the torque converter and also the 10 speed automatic. So they all work in unison. And when, like I'm towing right now, when I'm asking for maximum power, of course the electric motor and the engine working together to deliver that maximum torque. And maximum torque comes in at 2400 RPM. So it's a very torquey, almost diesel-like powertrain. Here it is, the star of the hour, the iForce Max, the hybrid power plant. It's a three and a half liter twin turbo V6, made it to an electric motor for a total of 437 horsepower and 583 pound feet of torque. Right in front of me is a 12.3 inch diagonal digital gauge cluster and it's actually pretty fun there's a lot of information there's also information about what's going on with my hybrid system I have an indication of my battery state of charge which is very useful I think I wish uh, for example the F-150 hybrid showed that and it doesn't of course I have my PSI for my turbochargers like you can see right now and I you can kind of see how the electric motor is also delivering its power as well and I have a lot of other information like my fuel my coolant my oil and my battery I'm looking for my transmission temperature and I'm not seeing it maybe it's in um, some other screen but the regular Tundra Limited doesn't have its own transmission uh, gauge temperature gauge I wish they would add that the trailer I'm towing today is this Airstream Sport. It's a single axle trailer. It has a gross vehicle weight of around 4,500 pounds and they're telling me that it's fully loaded with water and other accessories inside. So it should be light work for this Tundra, but I'm here also to see exactly how this hybrid behaves in the real world. Now here's how Toyota is introducing their hybrid Tundra. It's going to be available a little bit later in the spring of this year and it's going to be available on the upper trim levels. It's going to start with the Limited, which is their mid-grade, then also be offered on their Platinum and 1794 editions. And also the Capstone, now their top-of-the-line truck that I'm in right now, uh, will only be a hybrid power plant, only iForce Max. And also at the same time, they're unveiling the or releasing to production the TRD Pro, which is also only hybrid. And 
the Capstone and the TRD Pro you can only get as a crew cab with a shorter five and a half foot bed. Uh, although both the two wheel drive and the four wheel drive versions uh, of other hybrid trucks, so not the Capstone or the TRD Pro, but the 1794 and the Platinum and the Limited, you can have those in two wheel drive. Well, luxury trucks are all the rage and in this Capstone, the one I have here with every single option, the payload is 1,330 pounds, which is actually quite usable. The tow rating is 10,340 pounds. If this didn't have a couple of the other options, uh, depending on the suspension you get in this truck, it, the payload could be up to about 1,400 pounds, just a little bit over that. So you can put the tongue weight of the trailer on the hitch and still have room and capacity for several people. Now, one thing I'm noticing immediately is how stable the Tundra is, of course. Um, this is not a surprise to me because we, I've towed with the other Tundra that we have, our long-term truck, and just the chassis, the new frame, the suspension um, are just very, very stable and solid. This truck has a 145-inch wheelbase, which is uh, typical for this uh, full-size half-ton segment, and it makes it very, very stable. This top-of-the-line truck also has uh, self-leveling air suspension in the back and AVS, adjust, um, adaptive variable suspension. So it has everything you need to tow a trailer. And you can tow up to 10,340 pounds with the capstone and of course more, 11,000 plus pounds with other Tundras. Just like with any new 2022 Tundra, this has the what they call a trailer garage where you can set up some settings specific to your trailer for example um, it also can estimate the length of it um, if you want to set up your gain you can actually go edit a trailer in this case it's called the camper and you could see um, you can tell it you know how many axles you have you can say one in this case, it's brake type, it's zero to 5,000 pounds, for example. Hitch type, automatic length detection, and then you can save. Bam. You're probably wondering about price and fuel efficiency. Well, let's start with price. And at the very end, I'll let you know about the fuel efficiency ratings uh, that the new Hybrid Tundra has. So first price, it's gonna start as a two-wheel drive Tundra Limited at around $52,000, just a little bit over that. And of course there's destination charges as well. Then this truck, the Capstone Tundra, because it has you know the special interior, you can see here, heads up display, um, a lot of different information and all the luxury features and panoramic sunroof, power steps, everything. Um, the price for this truck I'm in right now is $74,545, which is, yes, it's the most luxurious, also the most expensive Tundra ever. Um, so you just have to decide which Tundra is best for you. Is it maybe more of a mid-grade? Do you want a fully luxury truck like this to tow your very nice and expensive trailer? So of course, um, you have to decide that for yourself, but that price, 74 grand, is still competitive. So if you look at other trucks like the F-150 Limited, which is the top of the line, the Ram Limited, which is their top of the line, or the High Country or the Denali trucks from GM, uh, this price is in that uh, segment. As I make this turn and accelerate up, up the hill here, I'm looking in my mirrors. Um, actually, this Airstream trailer is not super wide and these mirrors are just fine. But if that's not enough, if you have a trailer that's about eight feet wide, maybe eight and a half feet wide, which is the maximum technically allowable trailer width, you would probably also need their new towing mirrors, which are power folding, power extending, power adjustable. And uh, let me show you how they work. The new Tundra also comes with these towing mirrors and they can be power extendable folding and also have special lights and also blind spot detector symbol. So let me show you how it works. So first of all, you can extend it. If you're towing a wide trailer, maybe something eight feet wide and maybe eight and a half, you can extend the mirrors and see around the trailer. 
or if you're in a tight spot and you want to fold them you can also go like this I like it that also has a forward facing light over here and if you're backing up and you need to see something you can also turn this little LED on and see behind you or right next to you here's the way you fold the mirrors right here by the left knee of the driver this is the way to extend the mirrors and bring them back in and also have an additional mirror light and one more thing the convex mirror on the bottom which is I like very helpful um, it's manually controlled pushed around and this is power adjustable here's the mirror adjustment this being a capsule of course it has 360 degree cameras right here I'm at the traffic stop so it's giving me a little bit more information and now I'm going fast enough to where it actually disengages but of course it helps you also hook up your trailer uh, you can zoom in I'll show you that in a bit here we go you can see the hitch and what's behind me you could also go like this and see the bed let me do that again there now you have the bed view so if you have cargo you can kind of monitor some of that rear camera mirror is also here of course right now it's not doing much it's just showing me the front of my trailer of course this is just the first taste of the new Tundra hybrid uh, my first impression is super positive it's very smooth there is no transmission shutter whatsoever um, this also offers regen braking so when you're actually coming off the accelerator it will it can also put some of the energy when you slow down back into the battery it's a 1.87 kilowatt hour battery pack that's underneath the back seat right here in the cab and yeah a lot of power and I'm getting about between 10.7 and about 11.1 mpg on this short loop which is what about 12 15 miles uh, or so um, so yeah towing 5,000 pounds I would have to do an mpg loop in Colorado and see exactly what this truck is capable of I'm guessing it could do 12s on a kind of a steady state highway ride with a slightly heavier trailer which would be top-notch it would be near the top of the class where also the f-150 is as I promised you here are the fuel efficiency ratings if this was a two-wheel drive version like a Tundra limited hybrid the rating would be 20 city 24 highway and 22 combined pretty good not quite as good as the f-150 hybrid with either 25 for two-wheel drive or 23 combined for a four-wheel drive for a four-wheel drive Tundra hybrid like this the rating goes down a little bit to 19 city 22 highway and 21 combined and Toyota says they've built this Tundra specifically for power delivery and towing and not so much for fuel efficiency as the numbers suggest let me know what you think and come back to tfltruck.com and tfl-studios.com for all of the real-world pickup truck testing. <laughs>